your values and mindset, particularly regarding government transparency, financial responsibility, and the ethical implications of immigration policies, are reflected in the operation of immigrant hotels outside Boston, funded by taxpayers' money. What's up, guys? This is Savannah Hernandez, and I have stumbled upon one of the hotels that is being used to shelter migrants here in Massachusetts. Now, I've been wanting to cover the Boston migrant crisis, and one of the things that was interesting about it was the fact that uh, the migrants are not very apparent in Boston. You're not going to see them on the street like you would in New York. And I realized that's because they are busing a lot of these migrants or transporting them throughout various cities and towns in Massachusetts. So, for example, we're in Dedham right now, which is about 30 minutes outside of Boston. Again, you guys can see this hotel. It was a former Fairfield Inn, and it is now being used to house migrants. And I was doing some research as well into how much these hotel rooms are going for. And they're going for $5,400 per month. So these migrants staying here, $5,400 per month, taxpayers paying upwards of or almost $9 million to house migrants in this location. I was even reading some reviews online about how people had booked at this hotel and then their reservations were just canceled and they were told it's because migrants are now being housed here. And as you guys can see, there is, uh, you know, quite a few of them out here kind of just hanging out. A couple of them have cars, $5,400. For these rooms, we talked to some of them and they were saying that the rooms are small, they're not getting enough uh, bedding, they're not getting enough resources, they don't like the food. So this is one example of what's happening here in Massachusetts. Norfolk, another good example of how these migrants that you might see at the Logan Airport are being shipped throughout the state. So in Norfolk, that's a town of a little over 11,000 people, and they have 450 migrants coming their way. So um, again, that's how they're kind of keeping this crisis a little bit more under wraps, as opposed to what you might see in New York, where the migrants are all sleeping on the street. They're busing them um, to all of these other little areas. Taxpayers' money is being misused to fund lavish accommodations for illegal immigrants. This misuse raises significant concerns about transparency especially since local residents who had reserved hotels have been evicted. It is crucial to ensure that public funds are managed responsibly and benefit the broader community rather than favoring a specific group at taxpayers' expense. The authenticity of government actions and their ethical implications are at stake here. The decision to house migrants in expensive hotels reveals a potential disconnect between the government's stated values and its actions. Real decision-making should adhere to ethical principles, considering the impact on all stakeholders, including taxpayers and communities. This situation profoundly affects public sentiment. Mismanagement and lack of transparency in handling public funds lead to frustration, distrust, and anger among taxpayers. Additionally, it exacerbates tensions between locals and migrants, fostering polarization and social discord. The public's response to using hotels for migrants and the broader immigration policies is critical. The stories of local residents facing economic hardships, while immigrants receive costly accommodations, significantly influence public perceptions and attitudes towards immigration. The government's failure to address community concerns adequately and find more sustainable, transparent solutions is at the heart of this issue.